kid, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, I'm a piano music. Uh, so, of course, we are dealing with our good brother, Dr. Umar Johnson. And I try to stay away from him, but he's so controversial. He ends up on my feed or in my content section from brothers like you in my emails every day. So it makes me, you know, have to deal with the good doctor myself. And of course, Dr. Umar Johnson is against interracial relationships. I do not believe because he hates, um, you know, other races of people, but he understands, you know, what is needed for an example. And I want to talk about that because, you know, when you're dealing in the black community or any community, if you can keep your money within your group, it's beneficial. It's a power move, right? And whenever you can do that, that's a great thing. You have black families, you have black businesses and all kinds of stuff. And I, I definitely agree with Dr. Umar when we talk about that. However, um, you know, Serena Williams is, is married to um, Alexis Ohanian. And Dr. Umar Johnson is going to give some reasons as to why she don't need to be with him, you know, and why he should be, why she should be with somebody like him. Okay. Um, I'm going to play that and then I'm going to come back. Serena Williams, five, five, super thick in the thighs. Serena went and got her a snow puppy. Serena, you could have came and hollered at King Kong, baby. I would have took care of that. Serena Williams, you could have came and hollered at King Kong Consciousness. I would have took care of all that. That snow puppy you got, I know he ain't pleasing my sister. Mm-mm, not them thighs, no way. You're not going to tell me that that European can handle all that African black girl magic Serena Williams got. She needs King Kong driving clutch Serena needs King Kong driving stick shift clutch black girl so guys you heard what he had to say where where do I start number one you know when it comes to black men many of our brothers every every time we think about something taking care of a woman it always got to be well, the dude that she's with right now ain't hitting it right. So if she was with me, I'd be able to hit it right more than him. That's what we come down to. It's always that sort of sexualization or bedroom stuff as to what we can deal in. As if that's the only thing that she want us for, right? I mean, we're just going to be real. And I want to talk about this because it don't really make a whole lot of sense and to be fair, Dr. Umar Johnson doesn't really make a lot of sense um, in this particular case because, number one, what, what is he going to do for a woman? I understand that Alexis O'Hanian is white, but Umar Johnson can't even take care of himself, let alone, what are you going to do for a woman like that? You ain't got no money. You lazy. You don't want to work. That's obvious. All right, brother, you don't want to work. You're not going to do any work. Ain't nothing you're going to do for anybody. All right? We know that. She would be wasting her time dealing with your ass. We should also know that too. Okay? We should also know that too. And see, the thing about it is, is that Dude, Dr. Umar Johnson always talks about how black men don't want to build nothing. He don't either. Because the only thing you're thinking about is your penis. What about what the woman needs? Let's say time. Let's say development. A community providing resources for her. This is what uh, Umar talks about for something else. But he don't do that. All he got to offer is what's going on in the bedroom. And a lot of black men think about masculinity like that. That's what we think. When we think about dealing with black, uh, uh, dealing in the black world, that's how we see it. You know, we're going to deal with this woman 
like that. You know, that's how we want to deal with it. Then when we get mad, when she don't want to deal with you, I'm just going to be real. Okay. And the same attitude that we have, we have that same attitude with other black men. We don't want to add no value to each other or to the community. Because it's, it's all about charisma or clout. And if it was the woman, it's about what you can do to, with, with her in the bedroom. What do you have to offer the woman? Why should the woman even respect you, submit to you? Is it because you feel like you you somebody special because you Umar? What is that based on? And we're not ready to have those conversations because a lot of brothers is thinking like that. Well, you know, I I, I, I can make her submit with what I got in between my legs. You ain't have no business. You don't, you're not even thinking like that. You're not even thinking like a man that should have something to offer a woman or any community. And that's why a lot of black men don't have nothing, including Umar. You don't bring resources to the to the community. And and, 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 and I expect more from him, but 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 obviously. All, 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 all he got is some Johnson for sister. You ain't going to be working. So let's say Serena Williams. Another thing, too, you, you want to be with her because she got money, Umar. You lazy. And there's a lot of black men out there. You don't want to, uh, not just you, not, not you brothers there. I'm saying, but some of you brothers are good brothers, right? But you don't, but the black brothers don't want to work. I'm going to call it out. Don't want to work. Don't want to build anything. But there you go trying to be in somebody else. Ruining somebody's life. That's it. You don't have nothing to offer nobody. Just dusting it up. Just weaving and selling it up. That's it. That's it. Everywhere we dusty, every, everywhere we dusty. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first comment in the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Yeah, yeah.